Are we good? Are we good this time? I hope we are. <laughs> Bro. I thought I checked all my settings. I'm a fool. Thank you. Thank you, Cryosis. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I'm so glad that I haven't outgrown my scuff. <laughs> In all of my streams. They'll never go away. Anyway. As the title suggests, I'm gonna beat Yami Bakura's bottom dollar. He's gonna die or something. I mean, really at this point, I don't know. I lost like four times to Bandit Keith, so really, I don't I don't know how good I can be at this game anymore. And I haven't played it for a while, so there's also that. But we're just gonna jump in. No planning, no thinking, no no knowing what monsters we have. <laughs> That's just it. That's how it's going. <laughs> you know, his his jacket looks kind of cool, though. I'll give him that. It's kind of a silly Billy. I just remembered what he sounds like. <laughs> I just remember what he sounds like. Um, I don't know how I'm going to take him seriously. I mean, aside from literally everything, I don't know how I'm going to take him seriously, but also how he sounds. Couldn't wait to duel you. What? What is it with Ted in every 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 single character that he plays in this game? He's out here laughing like he's hacking out a lung. Is that so, Bakura? <laughs> <laughs> Bakura? No, no. I'm more than that. I really can't think of anything. <laughs> and you don't stand a chance. Not after I learned all your strategies when you dueled against my host body. Oh, oh my god. I also lost to regular Bakora, so, um, you know, maybe he will beat me. You may have defeated Bakora, but his skills are complete garbage when compared to mine. Oh no. That's not gonna oh, be great. Really? Then let me put your abilities to the test. Fine. It will be my pleasure to destroy you, Yugi. There's something going on here. I don't know how to explain it. There's... there's tension. That's literally just every Yu-Gi-Oh! episode, every Yu-Gi-Oh! interaction ever. It's like, there's... there's some tension here. I'm, I'm sensing... some vibes. Oh, but Kraus is... this game is pretty cool. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh! meets chess meets Fire Emblem. Thank you! Oh my god, I'm truly blessed. I'm truly blessed. I always have to attack second. This... This is just Bandit Keith's map. This is just Bandit Keith's map, but more edgy and emo. But I'll, I'll pick here. Oh, shit. I forgot. I lost the barrel dragon! <laughs> I'm gonna lose! I'm gonna lose just for that! I'm a fool! Barrel Dragon was my strongest monster. I guess the DMG could also work, but uh, it's it's not the Barrel Dragon! Okay, um, I wanna bust out the leg and the arm. Even though I need the other arm to level up, it doesn't it doesn't matter. It it matters a little bit. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, let's see, um, the Lalilulelo is funny, but I don't know if it'll work. I don't know what his monsters are. Um, all of my strategies cease to exist without the Barrel Dragon. I'm like, I have nothing. I have, I'm nothing without it. Uh, Needle Ball probably has some good movement. I mean, the Lalilulelo probably does too. Uh, I can choose eight. I can choose eight of these little guys. Um, again, the Feral Imp is probably a good choice. La Moon. Uh, let's, let's do that. Literally no strategy whatsoever. Just raw dog in it. And dare I say, if I lose, it doesn't really matter that much. Because when, once I lose, I get the Barrel Dragon back. And that's all that matters to me. Because truly it was a tank. A legend. And a, a, a piece to remember Bandit Keith. 
Yeah. My one true love. My one. Crack. She's cracked out. I literally have another tab open. <laughs> and I didn't remember that I had this other tab open. I had another tab open where I was rereading Yu-Gi-Oh! R. And there are like five different tabs that are just different shots of Bandit Keith that I liked. <laughs> Hi, Crow! Hi, Crow! What's up? You enter as soon as I start talking about Bandit Keith. <laughs> um, we're raw dogging this Yami Bakura fight. I forgot all of my strategies and I don't have the barrel dragon. I'm talking about Bandit Keith already because I was thinking about the barrel dragon and I don't have it anymore. So I have no strategy or any concept of what to do at this point. Also, dare I say, take one look at this map and tell me that it's not exactly like the Bandit Keith map. What happened to the Barrel Dragon? Yami Merrick killed it! <laughs> Yami Merrick killed it at the last moment, last duel. It was awful. It was tragic. Ooh, I want the pumpkin! I want the pumpkin and I... The Mega Thunder Ball. Uh, the movement is pretty good on it, actually. Um, but I do want pumpkin. And I kind of want the Trihorn Dragon. The rest of them are beer snacks. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, so I think I'm gonna want my pawns out first. Um, and my ace in the hole right now is the Dark Magician Girl, because she's the only one that kind of stands up to the power of the Barrel Dragon. Yo! Yo, Pog! Oh my gosh! That's so awesome. I'm so happy for you. I mean, I mean, aside from having a job being grim Who at the same time, you got a job! Lead. May I ask what kind of job it is? Is it like customer facing? Is it like retail? Tech? <gasps> oh my god. And you have plans with girl? Ah, slay, slay. You know, if you if you ha if you work in retail, you gotta have thick skin. Remember that. Thick skin, but also genuinely try to be nice, you know? Because, I mean, I mean, it, retail can be fun if you think about it. <laughs> I don't know, I don't want a job, it's a job. Exactly. If you have, like, replenishable income, Big round of applause. That's- that's really all you need. But, oh my god, I can't believe you're watching a VTuber and you hang out with a girl? The- the- <laughs> He's like, that's pretty rare! I'm kidding. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go for like a- a full, a full on head on assault. Yeah, yeah. But I don't want to, I don't want to chase, I attract. <laughs> uh, okay. I have to remember how this game works. I totally forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot what I was supposed to do. I'm like, what constitutes a good move? I don't remember. <laughs> Plus, they have tuition reimbursement, bro! Oh my god. In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Regardless. Oh my goodness. I just remembered that I have to start um, thinking about paying for school. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna graduate soon, hopefully, so... Uh... Gotta start thinking about having money. 
Oh no, did I do something? <laughs> did, I do, did I do a bad? Accidentally summoned the spirits of the damned. Oops. Will it power up my dark guys? Or is it like a... Is it a damage space? No, please no. I have- I literally have the moon right now! Am I dumb? <laughs> I think I'm dumb. Oh, of course, of course. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! is so badass when it actually hard sells the creepy. I really want pumpkin. You know, this is gonna be so cringe because people are gonna be like, you only like that episode because of Bandy Keith, but that's not true. But I love the Arena of Lost Souls episode. And, oh my god, and Bones in the Graveyard, that episode where Yami Bakura literally kills three people. <laughs> best, best episode in my opinion. Just because the way that they sell the creepy. I hate the fact that they start playing this game and I genuinely start thinking, like, you could probably see the cogs turn. <laughs> like, uh Okay. Yeah, um, could I have attacked? Can I attack? I can't. Not with this setup, bitch. Whoa. That, uh, and then the arms. I always- I keep forgetting that the arm and the leg are, like, things. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I think that's it? I still don't know what the gas does. Or is that, like, the- the- the spirits? Not my leg! My leg! Well, no, because one of them's a leg and one of them's an arm. I'm not defeated yet. Again, one of my legs died, and one of my arms died. Last duel. It's really tragic. <laughs> I miss him. I miss my other leg. I will let you stage a comeback. A comeback? Uh, I don't think he ever came. Uh, um. I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't think he was ever uh, at a disadvantage, Yugi, or, or, yeah, yeah. I don't think he was ever at a disadvantage. Oh my God, biggest Freudian slip of my life. <laughs> I don't think he ever came. Um, how do you know? Hey, yeah. Uh. I could I I literally I don't have the words. Uh, you will not get away with that. No. Um should I uh I'll I'll do it here because uh maybe uh maybe he won't be able to attack me through the pillar. I don't hold on, what it what's its attack pattern? Great, perfect. Um its move pattern is at least locked to like this this sort of pattern, so I guess it's okay. Man. Oh, man! Just slam on that head. Oh! Uh, why? Why do I keep talking like this? Like, slam on that sc uh, None of it sounds good! It all sounds bad! No matter what I say? Oh my god. God. Should I, should I like go around? <laughs> should, I think I should go around, but I do like being on the high ground because I don't know what the dark does. I don't have words, actually speechless. Me too! I have no idea why I talk like this! Why? why, why, why? <laughs> oh my god. I will not be defeated. That's a really good sprite, actually. You know, I'm not normally a Yami Bakora like super fan. That would make me a super fan. That that would that would get me to 
I don't know, look up fan art or something. That. That alone. Star Wars taught me that the high ground is the best ground. Real! Oh my gosh. I've been playing Minecraft with my friends recently. <laughs> and I kept saying things like I have the high ground every single time I would fight a drowned. Because I can't, I can't do combat in Minecraft. I'm dumb. I'm dumb with it. I'm like, uh, I jumpy swing all the time. Just constant click, 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 click. I can hit his feral imp from here, but I want... I guess Bolt Penguin. <laughs> I'm like, I still want Pumpkin. Uh, Bolt Penguin, I guess. Hmm. This is not good. You've actually never played my Dude, I never played Minecraft until a few weeks ago, and I can, I can testify that Minecraft is legitimately such a fun little time sink. I'm obsessed by it. Like, I think I've played it at least once every day. Yeah, the lack of creativity, me too, in all honesty. I mean, I think the most creative thing that I've done in my solo world is build a well, I've started building an anime man, Mount Rushmore. That's what I've started, and I put Bandit Keith up there, and that's it. <laughs> Which I guess is pretty telling of how impactful Bandit Keith is on me. Oh, I've, I still haven't found a spot for Dual Academy. I still haven't found a spot. I'm so upset. Because, like, I'm trying to find a natural occurring dual academy spot. Oh, <laughs> why am I so stop? Oh, can't a girl like Bandit Keith in peace? <laughs> can't a girl like Bandit Keith in peace? You fool! I'll put an end to your plans. Messy, what the? Why does he act like this? Hi, Rai! Jacqueline Juniper Josephina. My name is June. It's three letters. <laughs> You're doing too much. Why is he so afraid? Don't attack the dark magician girl. That's anti-feminist. You hate women. I wasn't concentrating, and I paid for that. My government name is June! J-U-N! Unless you're the government and you're assigning me that name. The government that kin assignment. <laughs> Government-sanctioned kin assignments should be a thing. You take like one of those job aptitude tests, but instead it's just like... I don't know, what anime character do you kin? That's you forever. In the eyes of the law. Oh, I can still attack it then. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, bitch. Your feral imp just got feral impaled. It died. Blam. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's so smart. <laughs> She's not smart. Oh, and I still can't reach the King of Ghosts! Uh, maybe if I use my- no, my ball took some damage. Never mind. Impus Among Us? Dude, don't talk to me about Among Us. I will annoy all of my friends and we will have to play Among Us together again. It'll happen. I'll force the Among Us collab once more. Hmm. He never had this much power. Sauce? Among us in real life, sauce. Sauce. <laughs> Bro, oh my god, I miss Among Us. I miss Among Us. It was so fun. <laughs> Why did people stop talking about Among Us? You fool. I'll put an end to your plans. June hears Among Us and goes ballistic. Hey! I could hear about anything that I have any point of 
interest in, and I go ballistic. Can you say you were gonna do a stream on the other funny specimen game? Yes, oh my goodness, but guess what? It's taken everybody so long for them to even get the funny specimen game freaking lethal company. Like, I've, I've been harping on everybody. Like, Kuliamiki, you've gotta play. You've gotta play Lethal Company with me. We gotta collab. And she's like, uh, but I don't have the game yet. Oh, um, but I don't have the game yet. Get the game! <laughs> I've never had my name capped on my when I played Among Us. Oh my god. I wasn't concentrating, and I paid for that. Nah, Among Us? Among Us is crazy. Among Us can get crazy. Like, the lobbies are very... They're full of interesting people if you don't have, like, a, a secure lobby. That was a lot of damage. But, I don't know. I, that That's just, like, any internet game, I think. Why would you do that? It's the only thing in range of the pumpkin! Who's struggling to buy a game? It's only 10 bucks. Dude, oh my gosh. I've been thinking that I should also um, get everybody to play Content Warning, but you know, if if it's le anything like the attempts to get everybody to play Lethal Company, it'll never happen. <laughs> it'll never happen. I'm honestly surprised we even got the Among Us collab to, you know, go forward. This is not good. Cause it, it was looking like it would never happen. God, I really can't do anything about the pumpkin! Yes! No, I can get the pumpkin! Yay! Calling all besties. Kill! Bong! Now if I win this, then the pumpkin will be mine! Which actually I'm so close to winning. That's a little wild, a little crazy. I think I just have to kill- I have to bust his balls. And then I have to, um, you know, protect the- the Patriots. Or the- uh, oh my god! Oh my god, I'm forgetting Metal Gear lore. <laughs> I'm forgetting Metal Gear 2 lore. No! Why? Why me? And that's why I should stream Metal Gear. <laughs> so I can remember the lore. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just sitting here like, I just have to kill the Lali Lule Lo! Oh my god, imagine next stream I pull up and all you hear is just me repeating Lali Lule Lo. La li lu le lo. And then I just end the stream. The new GX version of Polly? No, I haven't. Oh my gosh. I haven't I haven't been keeping up with like anything Yu-Gi-Oh! Like what is it? Like Yu-Gi-Oh! card related. I haven't. I feel so bad. <laughs> Cause it's the fave. Oh my god. I'm doing. I'm making moves. I'm doing niche. And by that I mean. I'm doing exams. <laughs> and whenever I do exams, I'm like, ah, uh, never, never do, never go on Twitter. Don't think you will be leading by the end of this duel. Bestie, you have one monster left, and it's at like what? 26 PP? <laughs> that oh my yeah! That! That's what I'm talking about. That's what should have been from the beginning. Oh, come on. They're all gonna be like, you need to be in the spot that the hand is in right now, aren't they? <sighs> She's so smart. Actually, no, I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna bait it with- I'm gonna bait it with Lamoon. I think that's what I'm gonna do, so I can get it to move. Or with like any of these, honestly. Yeah, we're going. We're going Lolly Lule Lo over there. We're going um, Feral Imp over here. We're going uh, Ugly Thunder Kid over here. Um, 
I don't, I don't know. I guess, um, yeah, because the hand's there, I can't move there. I'm just going to move the Dark Magician Girl backwards. We're going to throw it back with the Dark Magician Girl with the DMG. And then hopefully we'll win. He'll fall into my trap. He'll be tempted by my Lamoon. Oh, he was tempted by my hand! He's in the hand? Either way, he's about to die by my hand. And then he'll probably say something like, oh, this is all according to plan. Um, I actually plan this. Um, ta-ta! <laughs> I know him. Okay, um, oh my god, please, you've gotta be kidding me. Please, you've gotta be kidding. You've gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. Ah I no, never mind. Lemon, lemon, get him. Kill. This will finish you. It'll finish him. Ha 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 ha. He's a loser. Hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. What's up? <sighs> You're annoying me. Just kill this bitch. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you tune in just as he's dead. If you finna throw it back with DMG, you better look out for Cyrus. Oh my gosh, Cyrus would kill me. Like, that's my girl! This duel is over, Bakura! Yeah. Yugi, I let you win this time. <laughs> See? Oh my god! And you're like, oh, it's all according to the plan. I, I, I let you win. <laughs> Shut up! Go and conquer this meaningless tournament. I don't really care. Oh my god, Until classic. Until we meet again. <laughs> he said the thing, I don't care. <laughs> he said the thing! Of course I want Lamu to level up, what the heck? Is Tall Blondes a type of male you go feral over? Ryuji and Arcade Ganon and Bandit Keith. Um, I don't know. I've never thought of it that way. I I honestly don't pay attention to the guys that I simp for. So, <laughs> I mean, maybe. Oh, but I want the pumpkin. But uh, 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 the Tricorn Dragon. I can get both. Too bad I can't take three. Huh. I guess I'll take it. Guy's ego refuses failure. <laughs> He's literally out here like, uh, if I didn't win, uh, no, I didn't because I did. But I didn't. <laughs> I love him. He would eat in soap. I hate being that girl to be like, yeah, Yami Bakoro would totally eat in soap. Chaz isn't a tall blonde, that's true, but I don't know. I feel like I feel like the anime characters that people know so far, because I haven't provided my PowerPoint yet. <laughs> the the ones that you know about, there is a strong pattern of like blondes. <gasps> banger, banger incoming. Nineties rap beat incoming, guys. Dude, the gay energy collided and exploded into a massive tower. Dude, this kind of a banger, not gonna lie. A tower. A tower. Can that be? Is that the new path Joey was talking about? I guess it's the new gay path. I Which I so. mean, it's it's the path. <laughs> opponents must be waiting in there that may be but no matter who stands in my way we will not be defeated right yugi of course let's go what about me Are, aren't i included in this too guys the new path is hidden in this coliseum i i i i i've, I've been fighting all of these duels guys anyway we're going to the entrance hall and we're going to see what cards we can buy or cards ugh, what monsters we can buy 
shop time. It's a box time shop time. Grandpa, are you proud of me? Congratulations. If you've gotten this far, all that's left is the championship. He's proud of me. But I bet the duels from now on will be even more difficult. Make sure to analyze each battle so that you can choose the best course of action, Yuki. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> of course. I mean, I'm... <laughs> what would you like to do? Last duel, I literally just picked willy-nilly <laughs> and called it a day. Dude, oh my god. No one have his leg ripped off and be like, oh, I have won this battle. <laughs> Bro, oh my god, oh my god. See, I was getting so sleepy earlier today to the point where I was like, should I even stream? <laughs> but I wanted to stream anyway, because I kind of want to finish this game sometime soon. <laughs> so that I can, I don't know, I can prioritize other games, like Pets Cats 2, or, you know, other Yu-Gi-Oh games, and I don't know. Maybe something, maybe something silly. Maybe something silly and goofy, like my sims. <gasps> Judge man! I don't care how expensive he is, I want him. The move three attack two of Gaia. At level one? That's really good. She's really good! Grappler, my god. Ew, why is he ugly? <laughs> Old Yukio, never mind. <laughs> Can answer my own question. What the fuck? They really want me to buy Thion too. I mean, Tion, Tion, Tion. What? Slot machine! Ugh. No, that's a must. That's a need. Oh, and this one. If anybody knew why I had such uh, strong reactions to Sayadu and um, uh, Slot Machine, uh, 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 Bandit Keith. <laughs> That's all you need. Uh, ba Bandit Keith. That's it. Um, hmm. It moves four, but it attacks one, which is. Uh, I would rather have something that could move three attack to that way. That's really good, actually. Um, dice armadillo. Uh, it's kind of like weak in terms of HP, which is why I'm not too keen on it. But we can get like so many. Like the twin-headed behemoth. That one's a move for attack one, but uh, I do want something that will attack more. And yes, I know that Judge Man attacks one, but I like Judge Man. I think he's cool. I think I think that's all I want to buy. Yeah. What would you like to do? Um, I would like to leave, but thank you, Grandpa, for everything. Your support has been invaluable to me in this tournament. Oh my god. She's going full RP! Ah! When you need to set up your Wii? Uh, actually, actually, no. Actually, no, I wouldn't have to. See, because I have... I have the PC version of My Sims as well as the Wii version, and the PC version actually has more content. It's just, there are some glitches. There are more glitches in PC than there are in Wii, fun fact. But yeah, it's very much, like, I have, I have, yeah. The only, the only thing that I feel woe about is that I would need to set up my Wii for, you know, the better My Sim game, My Sims game, which is, um, what is it? It's it's Kingdom. Kingdom. Kingdom is the better one. And that one's only on Wii, so I'd have to set up my Wii if I wanted to play that one. But I started playing My Sims, never finished it, and honestly, I feel like I'm just gonna... <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna stream My Sims specifically when I want to have a stream where I just shut up. <laughs> if that makes sense. Because most of it is just like grinding for materials and stuff like that. 
No, no, it's just very much a, a do-nothing sort of game. Actually, uh, do I want Garuzis? I kind of do, just because I like seeing it and then thinking about uh, the way that Bandit Keats said Garuzis that one time. I feel like literally everything, everything in my life goes back to Bandit Keith in some way. Okay, uh, and I want... I want Gaia. Gaia and I do kind of want Judge Man because I want to see him in action. <laughs> uh... I can get rid of a spiked snail, because again, I need to go all the way to freaking. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was gonna equip freaking Kaze Jin, but honestly, probably not the best right now. This one I do want the Royal Guard. Would you, Kishin, be okay? Would that be good? Um. Uh... Okay, and I feel like I feel like we've grown past the need for Time Wizard. Because I know I'm not going to do the... I, I know for a fact I'm not going to focus on the fusion of that monster. Just because I don't like the way that either material moves. Mm, and honestly... Yeah. Performance of Sword. And that's going to be my setup going into the final, final set. Oh, that kind of thing? That kind of thing where it's like their name in English is Japanese and then like in Japanese their name is in English. It's like Hoshi Ningen is like that as well. And I just love bringing up Hoshi Ningen because what the fuck? But you know, like Yukshin or like Hitotsume Giant, all of those have like English names. <laughs> oh, this is the one where I can't see what's next and it's Evil Pegasus. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care enough about Pegasus. In fact, I'm a Pegasus hater, which might be a controversial opinion. <laughs> it's dollar store soap dispenser again. No. time for me to win. I have heard this song so many times. <laughs> Sorry, Cools. I've we heard it so again, much. Yuki boy. Wow. Pegasus, I didn't think I'd be facing you again. Neither did I. Uh, don't think our fight will end the same way this time. I will get my revenge, Yugi boy. Uh. I don't think so. I'll be victorious again. It's time to duel, Pegasus. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just gonna go for the same thing that I was do. And our cursors touched without consent again. Get your act together, Pegasus. Don't be creepy. Consent exists, and it's important. Yeah, honestly, the same the same thing goes for um, having every piece of Exodia being level two in order to fuse it. Whereas, like sometimes you need monsters to be like level five to fuse, and it's like that's that's too much. Okay, selecting the monsters for the sortie. Um, instant barrel dragon. I feel like with it, I can I can breathe. You know what I mean? It's it's my rock. When I need it, I can turn to it and it'll make me feel better. Because I'll think about Bandit Keith and go, hee hee hee, Bandit Keith! <laughs> uh, same will go for the slot machine. Um, at the same time, I should probably be thinking more strategically because he uses light monsters. So, uh, blue eyes by dragon. Uh, <laughs> um, what else should I use? Um, this is actually a toughie! Because the map uses like so many different things that it's like, uh. 
No, that is so much. See, I have to... I have to have little guys, too, but I, I love the big guys too much. Uh... Maybe, maybe it would be best to actually go for, you know, Lamoon probably again. Prisman is pretty well-rounded. But again, probably something like... The Lalilulelo. Are they still Scorpion? Because it's level 3 now. Um, oh yeah, oh my gosh. I have so few MP. Blue eyes. <laughs> you can't hear blue eyes without like smiling? Why? You're like, blue eyes. <laughs> blue eyes. Realize blue eyes. You know what? This'll be it. This'll be the team. This'll be the team. We've got Thunder Kid, the Lali Lulelo, we've got Steel Scorpion, we're gonna have, oh my god, the Barrel Dragon, <laughs> the Slot Machine, and then we're going to have, I believe I have, the Blue Eyes White Dragon and La Moon. I think, I think it'll be a good setup. She says, lying through her teeth. <laughs> Barrel Dragon. Barrel Dragon has such good movement that I have to put it near the back. You know what I mean? Um, how does, how does Slot Machine move, actually? Again, I forget. Uh... It moves two and attacks two. That's actually a really good pattern. That's a really good pattern. Um, so I'm probably gonna put it around here. I want it to be like a cornerstone. Uh, blue eyes, wait, hold on. How does blue eyes move? I have to be very specific. Move three, attack two, cool, cool, cool. Very similar to the barrel dragon, which is why I will also put it probably further back. Lamoon still has the disadvantage of only attacking one square each way, so I'm gonna put it near the middle. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Uh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and I do want to place Lamoon somewhere that is un unburdened. Cause again, like the movement in in the cross formation is very important. And again, I'm gonna put these guys back here because even though- actually, I feel like I should put them somewhere where there would be unencumbered too, but that's really just gonna be everywhere anyway. They have the advantage of attacking far, so. <laughs> Some you cute video talking about blue eyes and stuff. <laughs> Bro. Okay, good night, Rai. Good night, Rai. It's 12 a.m. and you're going to sl- <laughs> Oh, wait. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that people have, like, responsibilities. <laughs> uh, this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, the Lalilulelo can go over here. And then the Thunder Kid can go over here. Um, slot Machine will go in the middle. Yes. Look at that. I think I'm doing pretty good. I think I think it'll work out at least a little bit. And if it doesn't, um I was about to say something. <laughs> I was going to say something totally against TOS, so never mind. <laughs> I'll fill in the blank with something else that's funny, I guess. He's got good coverage. It's like a foundation. It's time for fun, fun, fun for me, and pain, pain, pain for you. But he still says the same old shit? Got robbed. I feel like I've been robbed. <gasps> it's the bitch that repels physical. <laughs> I hate the fact that that's my first, my first instinct at seeing anything that looks remotely like that freaking persona. I'm saying a little, oh. I will use all my repels strength physical. to defeat you.
Okay, I'm gonna unleash my slot machine. I'm gonna unleash my barrel dragon. And then I'm gonna unleash my steel scorpion. I will end my turn! Dude, this kinda goes hard. It's my turn, and away I go! I don't- I don't like that sprite of him just looking dead ahead the whole time. Honestly, I shudder at the thought of what I would look like if I was a live 2D VTuber. <laughs> just staring. Like, I'm looking directly at you right now. Think about that. I'm looking at you all the time, unceasing. An ending. My gaze does not falter. My gaze is actually gonna falter because I gotta freaking lock in. Blue eyes, white dragon, freaking thunder kid, Lamoon. Oh my god, I wish, I wish I had a trumpet. I would 100% want to cover this song just for the brown, the freaking glissando there. I go stupid for a glissando. Yes, we will advance. Okay, he's got, yeah. Uh, eh. Eh. Why are his monsters like that? Yeah, why are- why are those his monsters? Oh, cause that can, that bitch can fucking move! Okay, um... He's nine- yeah, yeah... I decided to go with more heavy hitters. I feel like he did not. <laughs> um, I do want to move the slot machine a little bit. Um, Lamoon, I'm just gonna hold, hold forward. Just forward charge. Um, and then I want... I want the barrel dragon to be behind a monster, you know what I mean? I want- I want it to have some sort of defense. The same could be said for the blue eyes, but at the same time I'm not as concerned about the blue eyes as I am with my barrel dragon, my man's barrel dragon. My- my only- oh, I say as if I didn't just buy a bunch of bandit keeps monsters, but you know. The, the, the last vestige of a bandit Keith in this game. Okay. Okay. He is making it like a full chess formation right now. He's treating this like it is chess. My god. Good god, man. I'm gonna get the cheese touch from this guy. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's hope it doesn't repel physical- it does repel physical, never mind. <laughs> it's the equivalent of repelling physical, what the hell? Um, I'm gonna put the slot machine over here. I think that would be a good move, a good play. I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna make it like a defense for my for my piece, for my symbol. My symbol. Cheese touch mentioned? <laughs> Don't say pog about the cheese touch. Good god, man. Okay, um, attack that. Yeah, there we go. Because it's thunder, it's gonna deal more damage. I'm out here using my pea brain. Unbelievable. Never mind. I feel like a, against him, um, would it, would my brain even be the size of a pea? Would it be considered the size of a pea? I don't think so. Okay, now I want to see what it would do if oh, it's still. It's not enough. It'll. Am, am I not enough for you people? 
Also, hold on. How does how does it attack? Uh, moves three and attacks. Oh wow, that <laughs> that's a lot actually. But if I do this, maybe it'll be okay. Okay, now where's the lalilulelo? Here it is. Okay. And again, I'm just gonna try and inch my monsters closer. Because again, I don't know his game. I don't know what he's playing at. He's he's being a little goofy and a little weird, and I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. If you thought you were in trouble before, you have no chance now. You hit one of my pieces. And now I have no chance. Yugi boy, if you don't try harder, this duel will be over before you know it. Pegasus, can you close your mouth for two seconds? No! Not my slot machine. <laughs> my god. Why my balls drop for two seconds? Just no! <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna break his literal piece. His manhood. Uh. That's such a Wattpad word to say, you know what I mean? There's always an opportunity as long as I believe in my monster. As long as I believe in my monsters and use the chessboard ability power. Never use Wattpad. Oh my goodness. You're missing out on the worst, <laughs> the worst um, that media can offer. The worst media that anything has to offer, period, I think. Okay. No, I wanna I wanna kill this. <laughs> Am I missing out? Yes. <laughs> You're still missing out because you need to laugh every once in a while. You need to have an existential moment where you're wondering why you're alive just to read Wattpad fanfiction. You know, you know the whole deal about like, why do we live just to suffer? Um, instead, <laughs> it's why do we live just to read Wattpad? I laugh at other stuff though. Yeah, but you can laugh at Wattpad too. I see your doll, your rogue doll. And I'll raise you. <laughs> Guys, Villa Cool mentioned? Yes! Sexy Master Miller needs to be mentioned. I'm sorry. <laughs> and yes, I do call him Sexy Master Miller, but I mean, like, what else am I supposed to call him? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just telling the truth. Dude, I need to play Metal Gear on stream. I need to play Metal Gear games. <laughs> I need to. Yugi boy, I would tell you that you should try harder. But by reading your mind, I know you're already trying your best. <laughs> Am I trying my best? That, <laughs> that's pretty presumptuous. Twin Snakes or the OG? I'm thinking the whole game. I'm thinking the whole game, but the OG, definitely. Definitely the OG. Because dare I say, the voice acting in Twin Snakes kind of... Mm, it's its not the best. I'll say that. And... Uh, this duel is not in my favor. It does upset me a little bit. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm such a Gen 1-er, where it's like, if I encounter one thing first, I will only believe in that one thing as being better no matter what like even if twin snakes is like a genuinely like more streamlined experience no <laughs> i don't care i'm playing the og i want to see otacon with his nose not squished like a fallout characters and boomer compress no no i just liked okay 
back in the day when I was in like elementary school, my niche, like the YouTube videos that I would watch were entirely about like classic video games. So like MGS on the PS1, <laughs> that kind of deal. So I know my stuff, I knew MGS first versus Twin Snakes. But I'm wondering, like, should I should I play the entire series? Ah, ah, ah. No, no way. Why do I keep doing the same move? I mean, I'm going forward. <laughs> no, I was not an AVGN fan. No, 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 no. That could never be me. I didn't like his content. I was like, why can't you be nice to things? <laughs> I was like, can't we just get along? Happen. You mean my birth? Volti in shambles. No, for real, for real. See, but the thing is, I know that he is an AVGN fan because he's old. You know, he's a diehard AVGN fan because he's old. That's the power of the barrel dragon, baby. One hit kill! That's my boy. I'm so pleased with that, actually. Oh my gosh. Not even here to defend himself. Yeah, I have no idea what he's doing. He's probably playing Minecraft. Like, he's probably playing Minecraft right now. Oh yeah, um, I believe it's tomorrow. Tomorrow in my time zone. I believe we're having a a um what is it? A group group all POVs. Minecraft SMP stream. <laughs> oh no! How dare you! So that'll be exciting. I actually think it's tomorrow. I've just forgotten about it, Loki. <laughs> this whole time, but yeah, I think it's tomorrow. So get hype, get hype. We're all really bad at the game. <laughs> We're all really bad at the game. Um, we've been playing on a realm for like I don't know, maybe a few days now. So the vibes are interesting. <laughs> I said interesting, not good. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was that was just an Astro Phoenix quote from Yuki Duel Links. Uh, I didn't I didn't mean that. <laughs> if this keeps up. Oh yeah, I know Yuki. No. How dare you? How dare you do that? You little. Freak, you little freak, weirdo, little bitch. Maximilian Pegasus, more like a Maximilian Pegasus. Go, um, die so that you can be with your dead wife. Yeah. Never mess with the barrel dragon. My man. By extension. <laughs> Yo, chill. No! It's it's Bandit Keith. How could I how could I chill if he was being uh shamed? Okay, let's kill this girl. Oh, she has more <laughs> HP than I thought she did. Accidents happen. Accidents happen. Uh, you're an accident. <laughs> you didn't have to do him like that. Goodness gracious, girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pulling out the goodness gracious. <laughs> she's she's saying words. Barrel Dragon's gonna need to put in the work. Yes, Ryan. But the thing is, I know the Barrel Dragon can put in the work. Because, like, what is it? It's level 6 or something ridiculous. <laughs> it's literally level... <laughs> literally level 6 versus everything else. Um, thriving in this environment. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. It's ever so out of my range. Evil. Evil. Okay, but I do kind of want to... I want to cover my dragon. 
a little bit. And I do want to move it over here so that it has the advantage. And that's really all I can do at this point. He has so many monsters, what the fuck? Uh, SPA is the special attack. Essentially, it changes depending on the monster, but the Barrel Dragon special attack is that any sort of monster that's dark type within a certain amount of like distance from it will gain attack. That's really what it is. And it only lasts for the turn, I believe. So it's not the best, especially considering that most of my monsters are not of the dark variety right now. Yeah, happy liver heals. And the dark the dark magician girl does like the dark burning attack. I think it has something to do with the dark magician. Again, I haven't read too much up on it. Because I'm not a strategist. Are you going to give up, Yugi boy? Are you going to give up living? Let me cook. Let me cook real quick. My cooking is bad. It's raw. My cooking is raw. Cause I'm raw dog in this, huh? You are kidding. Oh my God, hold on. I might lose, but again, this is most likely calculated for me cause I, <laughs> I don't read. I don't pay attention. That does a lot of attack on it, though. That does a lot of damage. Jun not reading the guide is the most out of character thing. Really? Accidents happen. Really? I don't think so. I don't know. I'm a very, I'm a very reckless player. I find. Hold on, how does it move? It moves like this. And then it attacks like this. That's a really advantageous movement pattern. That's a really good movement pattern. Every stream tune does she mentions the most obscure trivia. Do I? I just think it's common knowledge sometimes. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh no, have I given up the impression of being a... a nerd? Ignore the fact that I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh right now. <laughs> no, it's okay. Oh, you feeble-minded little freak. Imagine I'm able to take out every single monster with only the barrel dragon. <laughs> That'd be really messed up, actually, if I could do that. <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> Let's come into my power. Because it gives light the advantage! Ah! Yeah. I'm gonna do whatever damage that I can anyway. Because I'm not a loser. I'm not a chump. I'm gonna go down kicking and screaming even if I'm really weak. I'm weak! <laughs> I, I, you know what? I was not paying attention like this whole time. <laughs> you know when you like suddenly realize that you haven't been using your brain? Cause that's where I'm at. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. It's gonna move that way so it can attack my piece. I'm aware of that. But it's light versus thunder, so it's barely gonna do anything. Because I'm a smart girl. That's probably not the best, considering. Okay. If I pull this off... I might be able to pull this off, but it will be very risky. Never mind. <laughs> if it's not if it's not at a disadvantageous um type matchup, oh you bet. You bet the barrel dragon's gonna pull through. It's gonna deliver. I believe in the barrel dragon. I put my faith into um the uh manifestation of Bandit Keith in this game that I made up myself. Oh boy, never mind. <laughs> four! Four! Four life left. Imagine. Imagine if I did pull it off. That'd be kind of funny and cheeky. Like I said, I, I can imagine it. Well, that's why I'm saying imagine! That's why I'm saying imagine. I only say imagine if I never intend on doing something. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's always, it's always if it's like something really high in the sky. <laughs> You're doing better than I thought. Even I'm surprised. No, it's not. It's not being voiced by Vader Keith right now. Shush, shush. It's not true. It's not true. Partially because I feel like if I were to try to channel Vader Keith in my brain. Don't ask the logistics of this, by the way. Don't <laughs> don't ask why I describe it the way I do, as if I'm talking about the voices in my head. But um, um, if I were to channel Bandit Keith in my head, I feel like I would get confused be between like Bandit Keith and like 15 other characters that are in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because Ted Ted just sounds like Ted to me. If you did, you'd turn to cheating. Hey! No, 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 no. The thing is... You don't have the forces to defeat me. I would I would only cheat if I wanted to win. Come back you can actually pose a threat. Let me pose. Actually, I can't. I don't have full body tracking, so you could not see now the pose that I did. <laughs> my true strength, Yugi boy. I have like, to uh, let me you pose Pegasus. real quick. You read all my strategies correctly. He wasn't reading. He's illiterate. Loss, so let's see if you can avenge yours. I'll be waiting. Oh, I know you'll be waiting. Blah, blah, blah. Now I know what your monsters are. So now I know that I can easily defeat him. Because Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's out here with like earth, fire, light. And I'm like, you know what? I can have thunder, water, dark. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Except I don't think any of my mo water monsters are that good. <laughs> the lack of trackers is holding us back from 100% of tooth power. What do you mean? What do you mean? The death counter? Come on. Honestly, I gotta say, why the fuck are all of these tracks so dramatic, though? Like, we're marching- Oh, the full body trackers- Yes! We meet again, Yuki boy. I'm being so serious. I- Okay. Do you guys know about the Persona dancing games? Like, Persona 4 dancing all night, Persona 3 dancing in star moonlight, Persona 5 dancing in starlight. I know the really shitty, stupid dances that are involved in like the DLCs Pegasus. of those I games. Think I'd be you again. Let me tell you. 
If I had full body trackers, the first thing I'd do is the stupid Adachi dance where he just flails, flails his arms around. Don't think our fight will end the same way this time. You say that like your sister didn't stream those. Yeah, but it's like, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, like I feel like our audiences don't overlap as much anymore. <laughs> I don't think so. I'll be victorious again. It's time to duel Pegasus. Oh my gosh, Yugi canonically watched Victorious. He's like, you don't have to be afraid to put your dream in action. <laughs> Am I outing myself as um, being old enough to have watched Victorious when it came out? I don't think it's that old though. Okay, we're attacking second. I'm gonna be in the same spot because I do like having control over these elements. Because again, these elements are the ones that he's weak to. Thunder, dark, water, and wood. So I gotta get out my wood. Wait. That was really bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was really, really bad. Um, but this time I'm definitely gonna focus a lot more on thunder. Yeah, because this one has good movement. This one has- yeah, it moves three and attacks too. That's really good. Um, the Lalilule Lo did pretty good, considering that it's still only level one. I'm gonna need some Dark to counteract the Earth. I'm gonna need some Wawa to counteract the fire. And that one has good movement. I do want to keep the Barrel Dragon, because the Barrel Dragon is literally a tank. Um, this time I could spread my legs, but I don't want to spread my legs for Pegasus. I'm not that kind of girl. Yeah, maybe Shovel Crusher. The Lalilulelo, the Steel Scorpion. Um, and something... The Great White, if I remember correctly, has good movement too. But that's 91 and that's 139, that's a lot of MP, which I do not have. <laughs> uh, now the man-eater bug, if I recall correctly, has good movement again. Um, and then I just want something cheap, but I don't think I... I do have some things that are cheap. Um, is the left leg the one that can move? It moves three, but it attacks one. That's so ass. Uh, this one moves two that way and attacks two that way. Uh... <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna whip out my... I don't have enough P MP for my balls! Don't put that... Don't take that out of context. <laughs> I don't have enough MP for my balls. Um, and we're gonna go random place. No, I just I decided against the Exodia legs. I've decided against spreading my legs. But I got the Karibo. Okay, now strategically. Strategically, what monsters do I want to get rid of first? I think I want to get rid of a lot of, like, the probably fire and- no, the wind. The wind I 100% want to get rid of first, because fuck that. I'm not dealing with it. <laughs> the game is about to begin. Like, I'm not going to deal with the parrot. So I'm gonna kill it first. Um, the light ones I feel like are not really that big of a concern because again, my symbol is thunder type, so I can leave them to the end. And I have significantly more thunder monsters, so they're easy they're gonna be easier Here to kill. Um, okay. First I'm gonna summon the man-eater bug because it can move really well. Same with the root water. And I'm thinking 
Yeah, I'm thinking the Royal Guard. Yeah. Am I able to do more? Yes! Oh, yeah, 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 I know that. Uh, that is my... I don't even know what level it is. It's probably fine. Probably fine. I think I only have one of it. Yeah. So I'm gonna go for that one. And then... That'll be the end of my turn. Okay, he brought out a lot of his lights. First, he brought out two lights it's and a turn. fire. And so it's good I that go. I brought out um, two thunders and... What is it? Water. <laughs> and wood. I whipped out my wood. But it's nighttime. It's nighttime, so I don't I don't know anything about like nighttime wood or anything. I only know about the kinds that get chopped in the morning. That was a really bad gag. <laughs> Moving on. I'm gonna trust my instincts as a soldier and as a gamer. The pieces look like London Tipton's dad's body parts. Oh my god! I didn't even think about that. Dude, is it bad um, that I kind of... I wanted to know what London's dad looked like for the longest time. Because I remember, like, the gag was always... Oh, he's covered up. We don't know what he looks like. I wanted to know. I was invested in the, in the tea. I can't even move my pace! just goes to show how um how cheap ain't <laughs> no way she sent for London's deadbeat dad hey I would want London's deadbeat dad's money <laughs> that's what I'd want okay from a young age I craved stability financially And that just made me like deadbeat people. Hey, it, at least it wasn't Zach and Cody's deadbeat dad, okay? Actually, I'm not gonna deal with that right now because I don't think I'm in any like place for that to be used yet. Um, I'm gonna move this over here so I can get a good shot over there if I need to. Again, I'm gonna start to advance. I mean, at least Zack and Cody's dad visited them, true. But hey, London's dad hooked up the Tipton cruise boat with Sean Kingston. So, I don't know. Could Zack and Cody's deadbeat dad hook them up with Sean Kingston? No. Like, honestly, I feel like I could live with an absentee father if he would send Sean Kingston to me <laughs> on a fancy cruise boat to sing a banger. Except I do kind of wish that he had sang Fire Burning instead, but it is a children's show, so I can see why they did it. Oh, you little freak carrot idol. What, what is what is that persona called? Ada Habaki? The one that <laughs> reflects physical? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like I feel like that one song where it's like you're way too beautiful girls. That's why it would never work, you'll have me suicide. I feel like that's not <laughs> a very kid-friendly song. <laughs> but, um, he sang... Uh, oh my god, what are the words? I'm blanking on the words to one of the most iconic Sean Kingston songs. I just remember the way that Woody danced. <laughs> 
I just remember the way that Woody danced in that scene. <laughs> I can't believe people could forget about Woody's entirely entire existence. I love that guy. Uh, I could. But again, the buff doesn't do as much as I would like it to. You know what I mean? Most people did. Most people did forget about Woody. <laughs> I remember I remember Cools came up to me one day and she was like, "Oh my gosh, did you remember? Did you remember that character Woody? He's really funny. I watched like the Quentin reviews thing and like Woody was a really funny character. I'm like, "Bitch, you forgot about Woody?" <laughs> Woody was my favorite character in Sweet Life on Deck, because I related to the, um, to the self-deprecating humor and his general Drew Monson-esque vibe. And I'm like, I can't believe, I can't believe anybody could forget who Woody was. <laughs> Yeah, this is what we're looking at. We're looking at two uh, two very weak pieces in critical danger. <laughs> Sleeping on the goat, Mr. Rosby. How could I sleep on him if I wanted to sleep with him? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I would never say that about Mr. Mosby. <laughs> Except I do um I do really like Neospatian Aqua Dolphin from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX because he has the same vibe as Mr. Mosby. Like, I can't explain it. You just said that. I didn't mean it, though. I was just going with the gag, and I was just going with the gag. <laughs> the gag, my gag tuition told me that that's where I needed to be. Hello, Ian Sanchez. Hello. Welcome to the stream. I'm losing <laughs> this game, I think. No, actually, wait, 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 wait. I can't be losing, or else I will lose. Um, I've gotta, I've gotta uh, change my perspective. I am cooking. I'm in the process of winning. Trust the process. I'm cooking. Next, you're gonna say you simp for Special Agent Oso. Why would I have, I didn't even watch Special Agent Oso. <laughs> Bruh. Bro, my game's lagging. Okay, Jigen Bakudan. I see how it is. Get rocked. I'll pay you back with interest. Oh my god, did he actually? Oh my god. My mo <laughs> my most be. <laughs> I didn't even read it as my Mosby. I was like, Mr. Mosby. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it like my Mosby. You do realize bad boys will be punished. I'm a girl, though. Why would you dare call me a boy? You, he misgendered me. And I think it was meant to be on purpose. It was a targeted attack. Talk about that for a targeted attack. <laughs> I need him dead. June Femboy confirmed no! Except oh my god. <laughs> this is only the beginning. Considering my outfit right now, oh, it might get no. misconstrued. I don't know, I feel like I'm in a very I'm fe I feel like honestly I like this costume that I made for myself. I made it like two days ago. <laughs> I was like, I want to give that like vibe with the with the sleeveless turtleneck that everybody likes in their anime boys. Can I attack anything else? No, I cannot. Um, I'm gonna move over here actually. 
Yeah. 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 That's what I'm thinking. Thinking I'll do that. Oh. I'm gonna switch a spot with the barrel dragon, and this is not a very tactically sound movement, but again, trust the process. <laughs> You have more male costumes than female costumes. I do! I also have like a full costume of Callan Kessler from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds. It's just how I be. I the men, the the anime men that I like affect me in such a way, you know? Now I feel like the water is kind of insignificant, so I'm gonna move it to the lightning. Or the thunder, sorry. Yeah, 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 no, I think this will work. I think this is good. I don't know if this is good. Impossible. I can't read your mind. That's how Edward reacted to Bella, but instead of being like, wow, I need to kill this bitch, he was like, wow, I need to kill this bitch, but I kind of like her though. <laughs> Alan's the only person to beat you say yes. However, on a technicality, he did not beat you say. <laughs> he he can't beat Psycho Mages. Oh my gosh. It, it, dude, he's gonna he's gonna read all of the information on my PlayStation. He's gonna be like, you have 92 hours in the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX game. And then he'll run away. I still have a chance. Dude, oh my god. Ah, don't make me think about Psycho Mantis. He was kind of... Like, you know how Maid Mint is about Revolver Ocelot? That's how I am with Psycho Mantis. <laughs> He's my, um, old man that I would bark for in Metal Gear. Well, aside from technically Master Miller, but, you know. I still have a chance. I do have a chance. I gotta keep this bitch hanging on. Yeah, Kukapakapu was about to clap him, but because his dual runner failed, it like completely nuked itself. The duel didn't count. <laughs> because if it did count, he would have uh, died. So technically, it was not a loss. Though it should have been. Dude, I don't know what it is about this map, but it is totally lagging. What the heck? It's okay, though. We'll play through it, and then we'll get to the next map, and it, there will be less lag, I prom. A prom is half a promise, by the way. Uh, in case in case you guys don't know about uh, Tiffany New York Pollard on... <laughs> Celebrity Big Brother. <laughs> I'll make you pay. Could you say that with any less conviction? A tactical error. Back. <laughs> Go back. This. This is more tactically accurate. Because if I moved forward, I could have gotten clapped. I could have gotten double teamed by both the rogue doll and these he needed another take for that line i feel like and this is no this is no shade i'm saying like literally no shade to darren dunstan but i feel like most of his reads are like that <laughs> no tea no shade because i stand nonetheless but that's just how his his uh, roles be, and that's okay. Because at the end of the day, I mean, like, Pegasus wouldn't be the same if it was not Darren Dunstan, and I'm gonna be so real on that. Don't think your actions won't be avenged. 
Because I don't, I feel like, I feel, <laughs> I feel like he brought, he brought such an unseriousness to such a seriously unserious character. I feel like most people have just been like generic evil villain. He's like, but what if he had some flavor? That's that's before kids' secret sauce. They're like, what if we had some flavor in this? <laughs> what if we added spice to this feast? Okay, I can't move anything else, can I? I literally, the lighting is so deceptive in this game. <laughs> Now I don't think I can move anything else. Okay, yeah. And the GX Season 3 had lines akin to a bridge dub. I don't talk about the dub of GX Season 3. <laughs> I don't, because it'll make me so unreasonably mad. Because, dare I say, the problems from Season 3 did not start in Season 3. They did not. They started in season two when the writing started to get bad. And then it just got worse. And then if you watch like any really modern Yu-Gi-Oh at this point, all of the dialogue feels like an abridged series because they're like, we need to be funny. It, and I hate to be this mean. I hate to be this mean because I do love, you know, Zexel and 5Ds and Arc 5 to an extent, right? But uh, it's giving, it's giving Dead Rising 4 writing in terms of, like, comedy. They're very ham-fisted with it now. I'll finish this duel quickly. Like, it, uh, it feels like modern humor. And I say humor in massive air quotes, but, you know. Ah, that's just how it be. I just remembered that Thunder's... Actually, because it's such a high level, I don't think it even matters how bad Thunder is against Earth. <laughs> don't think your actions won't be avenged. Pegasus hair looks like the office business. <laughs> no, they, <gasps> they do. Oh my god, he's got Nishki pants hair. Uh, he's right behind me. In the no, like that's basically dialogue from GX season 3. Actually, to be completely honest, I don't remember how bad the dialogue is from GX season 3 cuz I have My not watched it dubbed in years. That this duel would be so difficult. But I'm assuming that it, it, it from what I do remember of the dub, it does give uh, He's right behind me, isn't he? But like worse. If that makes sense. If it could possibly get any worse. <laughs> the Big Bang Theory has infected pop culture. Oh, it's done more than infected. It's corrupted it. Thank God we have young Sheldon. <laughs> what you're saying is you need to rewatch. Re no, I don't. I'm, I'm totally fine with not ever doing that again because I have something called self-preservation instinct. And if I have to watch season three of Yukio GX in dub and I have to hear Mark Thompson Chaz, I think I will actually go insane. <laughs> I think I will actually literally get violent. Watch Sonic- Yeah, exactly! Watch Sonic X instead! Controversial opinion, I do not like the third season if of Sonic X, and do, I think that Chris was the best part of Sonic fall. X. Chris and, like, the human characters and the pilfs, his parents, that I would like to have relations with. <laughs> they, they were the show to me. If you add too much Sonic to Sonic X, it's so boring. Like, I don't care about the furries. I care about the isekai. <laughs> she keeps exposing him. What do you mean? You Nelson Thorndike has a 
snatched waste and is dumb. That's like the criteria. <laughs> the criteria for me wanting to have relations. She knows his name. <laughs> and is that so wrong? <laughs> is that so wrong? Do I have screenshots of him on my computer? I think I do. Because I was making a PowerPoint where I just compare Sonic X to Utena. Because honestly, the, compar the comparisons... Well, duel is not looking the so parallels good. are too strong. But I have so many screenshots of Nelson Thorndike for that. <laughs> were, they, were they taken specifically for that aim of creating that PowerPoint? Not exactly. They were made with the aim of creating the other PowerPoint of anime men that I should not send for. I did not realize that my numbers had dwindled so. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Notice how my gameplay declines as soon as I start talking about my brain rot. Gets a little too real in here. In these streams? I thought you were going in a different direction with that. What do you mean? In one go? Okay, why is Pegasus? It's okay. It's the Lolly Lule Lo. Hon <laughs> Honestly, they w the way they got everybody fucked up in MGS2, like, uh, 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 it's okay. But that does keep him conveniently out of range of my beasts. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna focus on his symbol. <laughs> his symbol. But I still wanna, I still want to kill. I don't even know what I was trying- what I was going to say there. St 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 still do? It was still do. Wow. Yeah, see, the thing is, where I differ from people who are Sonic fans and fans who, like, watched Sonic X is that, technically, the first thing about Sonic that I ever interacted with consciously, like I st sat down and was like, I'm going to consume Sonic media, was Sonic X. And I didn't know shit about Sonic, nor did I really care. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's a four kids dub. It's a four kids dub, so I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> That's really what it comes down to. I'm like, Andrew Reynolds directed this? Of course I'm gonna watch it. What do you mean? <laughs> Meanwhile, it was so amazing that I watched it. <gasps> Wait, oh my god! The anniversary of my full rewatch of Sonic X just passed. That's crazy, oh my gosh. According to my Twitter live tweet, I finished watching all three seasons of Sonic X within two weeks. And it was, I think I finished Sonic X on April 14th. So that's really something. <laughs> Sonic X rewatch podcast incoming, no. <laughs> Cause, okay. Um, the thing about when I watch Sonic X is that I watch Sonic X for the crazy shit that Chris does and says. Like Chris Thorndike is Literally a YN self insert fanfiction character straight from fanfiction.net herself. <laughs> and yes, I did just give fanfiction.net a gender. But you know, I met God, she was fanfiction.net. <laughs> But Chris is literally just out here like, I love Sonic, and if Sonic leaves, I'm going to jump off a cliff. Like, 
He just says this stuff. He's so brave. That it's like, how can I not be invested with someone who's that batshit insane? He's 12 years old and he's like, if Sonic leaves, I'm gonna do it. Huh? <laughs> Most sane Sonic fan, honestly? Yeah. Yeah, I've encountered with I've encountered a lot of Sonic fans in my time. He is probably the most sane about it. But this kid is literally insane, and I don't know why they kept giving him like shoujo anime eyes. Like, not even. Don't think your actions won't be. It's avenged. not even normal shoujo eyes where it's like you know like a lot of the eyelashes and stuff like that like it's giving onisama a eyelashes like shoujo eyes and i'm like this why are a why are they treating sonic x like it's a strange romance again i might end up presenting the sonic x and utina comparison powerpoint so maybe i should not say most of this it's insane, the way that they portray their relationship. The relationship between Chris and Sonic. The, it, why do they do this? Why is it built like that? I, I don't understand. But at the same time, it's so funny. It's so funny. Sonic X is a comedy. And I'll die on that hill. I could literally talk about it for hours, but I'm not going to because I have a PowerPoint. I have structure for it. <laughs> this will finish you. Oh my god! We won! That's what planning and strategizing and using the barrel dragon for the final hit oh, does. I shouldn't have underestimated you. That's the only reason you won. He has the same dialogue as the first time I fought him. That's lame. Give me more. Give me something to chew on. Give me character development. It seems victory has abandoned me. Yeah. Like most people in your life, actually, but okay. Victory is a fickle creature. She may smile upon you again someday. <laughs> Maybe so. And when that day comes, beware, Yugi boy. Beware the eyes right. of March. Goodbye, beware. <laughs> He's giving Harper Finkel. <laughs> Yugi gendered victory. <laughs> oh my gosh, Yugi girl. That's me. Wow. It's it's always it's always me in that barrel dragon. Um Yeah, I think I think I'll go with the carrot idol, the parrot dragon, and the magician of faith. Yes, I am good on that. I'll save, I guess. I don't know how many of these I even plan on doing. <laughs> I'm like, eh, because I think, I think the final area has more people to fight, question mark? Again, I didn't read the manual, so I don't know. But I'll, I'll probably end, end the stream on a character that I like. Carrot, I, oh my god, carrot! Carrot Cliffs? Oh, you're the carrot idol. <gasps> Is he Shizu? Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. What should I say? How should I act? It's my first date and she's so sexy. What do I say? <laughs> she's so cool. Um, 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 Baker, no, no way! I want her to keep fighting me because it gives it gives us an excuse to be together. Also, why is this? Ishizu, how lucky! I didn't think I would ever see you again. 
My thoughts exactly. Also, this temple is so beautiful and serene. Like, is is this a date? Are we like having a picnic at like this temple? Actually, with you, there's never such a thing as luck. You knew we would meet again. Yes, the sands of time told me of this reunion. <laughs> uh, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> I don't need the ability to tell the future to know that this duel will be even more difficult than the one before. It will, because I won't be thinking straight. It's time to begin, Yugi. Both, both ways. I will not be thinking straight. All right, Ashizu. My thoughts are now exclusively gay. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm attacking second. Um, um, what should I? What what monster should I even pick? I I, I mean, this temple is so beautiful. Like, she knows how to pick the spots. Uh, I'll just- I'll pick here. Yeah. Okay, last time we dueled, she used a lot of wind. Attribute, wind, and light. So... Obviously we go with the barrel dragon. <laughs> um, because it's- it's the obvious choice for me. Uh, by attribute, uh, it would probably be best to go again, like, mirror her wind with my own wind. Um, and what is wind bad against? Hold on, hold on. I didn't pull up the... the guide. But is it wood? I don't... why? Why would I think that it's wood? I don't think it is. Okay, let's go to Google. slay but i do want to know about like other things i want to i want to be able to like, anticipate her movements because what if she pulls out like a water typical guide behavior <laughs> you know i think it would be best to, to go to just go with thunder wind and wood i think it'll just be thunder wind and wood yeah i pulled up i pulled up the guide and I, I, I know what i'm i know what i'm talking about now even though I did know what I was talking about earlier. So smart. <laughs> but yeah, thunder, thunder, wind, and wood. Yeah, I've got some wind here. Most of my thunders did in fact pass on. <laughs> so, um, goodbye to the guys. Uh, You know what? I might do something crazy. I'm not gonna duel with a barrel dragon. I'm not gonna duel with a bandit keep by my side. Yeah, but I'm I don't I don't have like any wood outside of the one man eater bog. Um uh, it's okay, it's okay though, because I think Earth is okay too. Earth is a is a good um I don't know, it's good with attack, and it's good with HP and stuff like that, like, look at her. Moves two, attacks three in the cross formation. Like, oh my god. The PP is 365 days in the year. I don't have enough monster points. Uh, let me get rid of one of my winged dragon guardian of the fortresses. And then that'll be enough for a Thunder Kid. Yeah. Five. Five! <laughs> um, yeah. I think that's what it's gotta be though. Like, I don't I don't think anything else can really withstand anything. Maybe like maybe Lamoon? moon or blue eyes maybe I'll go with blue eyes actually you know what that's it 
Uh, and random place. Random place probably will be fine. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Literally five monsters. <laughs> I can have nine. Five. <laughs> By the way, if it looks like I'm always at a tactical disadvantage, that is why. I have significantly less monsters than everybody that I'm dueling. Please show me your true inner strength. Okay. The song is so quiet. I feel I feel like I'm interrupting. Hey, power in numbers is only one part of tactics. It's not the whole thing. I'll tear down your defenses. I'll tear down your defenses. Um, summon the big one first. Uh, and I'll summon the imagination. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna summon the imagination movers. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I will do as my Millennium Necklace tells me. No girl, think for yourself! We literally went over this for the first time, but again, apparently character development does not exist. <laughs> does not exist in Capsule Monsters Coliseum. Imagination Movers mentioned, yes! Um, I'm not a loser. I'm a fan of Ska. Question though, if you know the Imagination Movers, who was your favorite? Because my favorite was always Schmitty. He was always my favorite Imagination Mover. This song is like a crime. I don't know what it is. It's so quiet. I feel like if I yell or even talk at my normal volume, it's sacrilege. I do want the mystical elf though. I will achieve my goal. Yes! You get it. You get it. Unparalleled Riz can be accomplished with just Schmitty's hat. Tactics from the last time I fought Ishizu might come in handy. Let her come to me and then kill her with all I've got. <laughs> it'll work, it'll work. did this on purpose. I'll go this way. I'll go upwards. I'll be a contrarian. Are you kidding? Which one? Which imagination mover is a firefighter? I do love a man in uniform. Um. Anyway... <laughs> I'm not gonna be out here like, yes, I'm simping for the imagination movers on main. 
I don't know. They had the musician's riz. The comedy musician's riz. Which, to be fair, is very powerful. They made way for the blue eyes. <laughs> it's okay. At the end of the day, I'll still- I'll win this day. I really just want the mystical elf so bad. And I mean, like, Petite Angel's cute too, but... It's the mystical elf. Like, we're talking high defense baddie over here. Um, da -da 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 um... Once again, out of my range, however... I can just move this way. so that I'm always within like a general range of her pieces but never outright chase them because I'm an alpha I don't chase I attract I can clearly see that failure is waiting for you oh my god oh my god what that's fucking crazy. Scott? Oh my, like, uh, uh. Th That's actually so wild to me. Like, the tragedy of every other imagination mover losing their home to Hurricane Katrina, only for Scott to pull up, like, hey. Let me assist, like, ah! Uh, uh. That's so cool. He's so cool. This is bad. Yugi, what happened? <laughs> they literally only attacked this guy. And dare I say, they moved into my range. And yes, they have a lot, a lot of defense and a lot of PP. She's got really big PP. <laughs> But still, you know, it'll 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 happen. It'll work out. I prom. A prom is half a promise, by the way. It's not enough for a full promise. It's half. Oh my God! He's a winner. Smitty bro. He's he's been the Chad imagination mover for me. Even though even though it might <laughs> autocorrect doing you dirty damn smitten. <laughs> You're smitten with Smitty. Oh my god, the truth comes out. <laughs> we we're getting this ant lore right now. Please stop attacking me. Ishizu, please. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we hold hands? Okay? We don't have to fight. I have already seen this vision. We don't have to fight. We can hold hands and laugh and drink tea together ten years from now, okay? Hmm. Holding hands, the only thing I'll be holding with those hands are pieces. No, not if we can put our differences aside. We can be better than this. Than this game. We can throw it all away. A 
else blaspheming? No! It's called being human. It's called... It's called embracing and caring and cherishing the bonds that you've made with people thus far. It's called the indomitable human spirit for a reason. Not bad. Bro, I'm cracked. As in, like, my piece is cracked, not that I'm doing well. Bro, I have an exam due on the 26th. Man, fuck. Could have been thinking about the imagination. This duel is not in my favor. Yugi, thanks for stating the obvious. Bro, I'm so jealous of everybody that pulls up to the Imagination Movers concert. I'm not even kidding. I'm a ska girly. Attack does not surprise me. Ohio. Ohio concert in August. Oh no. I don't want to go to Ohio. To see the imagination movers. Okay, okay. It's like. It's like going to Ohio. Seeing the imagination movers. It's like. It's the balance of the good and the evil. But at the same time, I live in the Canadian equivalent of Ohio and I hate it here. It'd be even worse if it was American, too. <laughs> Negligible. Is it not best to withdraw, Yugi? It's negligible. It's negligible. Why can't the imagination movers pull up to Canada for once? Give me a chance! about to do the deepest bow in front of a checkerboard background. <laughs> I will. Attack does not if I have to, I'll do anything. <laughs> I just have to see how it'll play out and then and then I will act accordingly someone record the concert <laughs> please I need to see the boys weak <laughs> weak you thought you could stand up to the blue eyes white dragon Hmm. What a choice. I know that that Genin is coming through the rear just so that it can specifically attack my piece, but my piece again is Thunder type, which is the advantage over Light type, so.
To be honest though, Alex, I don't think that... I don't think that I'm gonna focus a lot on fusion in this run. I... it's uh, like... You work so hard and then... All it is is just another monster, know what I mean? Hold on, I've never actually read the effect of White Lightning. Uh, capability... Oh, it doesn't even tell me if I have to... It's because I can't use it. That's probably why. Yeah, and I'm basically stuck attacking this weak loser. Yeah, I I never use the blue eyes. Uh, partly because, uh, you know what I mean, uh, it's so expensive. Like, Blue Eyes is an expensive monster, and I, I just, uh, if this keeps up, uh, uh, uh. You can book the movers on their website for a best two birthday surprise. No, no way. <laughs> not, not the movers. There we go. I think I'm cooked. more important attacking that or attacking that I mean at the end of the day I don't think it's gonna matter who I attack because I've literally got nothing but it's good that I know the wind bias and if I die I get all my monsters back no actually you know what losing losing is tactically tactically big brained it's a good decision to lose especially in these in these uh levels where it's like you can't skip losing is very important because this is the path that destiny led you on oh my god well partly because of this um but <laughs> also <laughs> alas in the end fate cannot be altered yugi tactical retreat no it's a it's a tactical Move mostly because you get your monsters back if they died. I refuse to believe that. I will never give up challenging destiny. Challenging destiny? Ugh, challenging destiny is such a stupid thing. Just if you change truly your vibe. Believe that, we will meet again, you. I'm, I played Persona 2 Eternal Punishment, okay? But this is tactical, because now I can pick other monsters. And it's good for learning, like, what monsters they have so that you can, like, go back and basically cheese it. <laughs> and I think after I beat Ishizu, or, like, the next duel that I do, I will end the stream, because I've been sleepy. Grind weak opponents. You can't grind in this game. You can't grind in this game unless you do, like, the multiplayer or something. Because if you go, if you go here, you can only go to the King Coliseum in the entrance hall, and you can't beat anybody that you've cleared already. So there's no such thing as, um, <laughs> as grinding. In the campaign mode, I should be very clear on that. Jim played the suspicious man in sunglass game. What? What one? Are you? Are you? Oh, are you? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, but it's also you have to beat the game first. Exactly. Exactly. Ryan got it. Ryan. Ryan knows. Cause again, 
I personally have never I'm played this game before. I, think I, would ever see I only here. I only watched Cools play it when she was playing it for the first time. Actually, so everybody's you, saying such a thing as everybody's luck. saying to grind. Stop. <laughs> From this point onward, never tell me to grind, because it will not happen. So you know. Don't do not backseat me on this. <laughs> Didn't Persona have an e uh, Yeah, that was Innocent Sin, though. I was talking about Eternal Punishment, because the whole goal of that game is to, you know, not necessarily challenge your fate, but, like, change your perspective and, in turn, change your life. But yeah, it, 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 Innocent Sin, it does contain the H-Man. You knew we would... And they did censor him <laughs> with the sunglasses and name him the, the Führer. It's time to be. All right. But it's not all about that guy. It's not all about them. And I wish, I wish people would play the game because then it wouldn't be reduced to just that. It's so much more. It's so much more. Uh, if people knew the reason why he was there. It'd, it'd be- it, the world would be a better place. It'd be like that iconic utopia image if people knew. If people actually played Persona 2 Innocent Sid. <laughs> or at least- at least look up, like, somebody talking about it. <laughs> Game summary. Cause man, I like that game. I really do like that game so much. However, <laughs> some of the gameplay and the random encounters make me want to rip out my own teeth. <laughs> uh, do I want to play the blue eyes? Yeah, but again, that's New Game Plus. That's not even... I'm not even using New Game Plus right now. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh... It's not like that. Early Persona games are not like that, Alex. I advise you to... I don't know, not engage with the popular Persona community, which is Persona 3 and onward. Because if you're looking for a straight up RPG, it's Persona and Persona 2. The Persona 2 duology. Don't say, oh, thank God, because I do. That's one of the main reasons why I play the newer Persona games is the social aspect, because the social aspect is a way to further tell the story through example and not through straight up exposition. And it's done very, very well. But people online reduce it to dating sim when it's not entirely that at all. <laughs> Don't believe what you hear on the internet, okay? Especially when it comes to Persona, because Persona fans are stupid. And I'm- I'm just leaving it at that. Persona fans are stupid. They are not media literate. <laughs> and that's all I'll say on that, because that is a very inflammatory, but true, take. But then again, that could be said about, like, any gamer. <laughs> because we're gamers, okay? We're not the brightest tools in the shed, okay? We're not smart. <laughs> <laughs> as a soldier, as a gamer, oh, I love Sexy Master Miller. <laughs> Except... Uh <laughs> I'm gonna play that game and I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna play MGS and I'm gonna cry. I feel like if I stream it, that's the biggest thing that's pulling me away from streaming it, is that I will cry at everything that happens. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, but the thing is, is that this doesn't have, this doesn't have light and dark. This is, this one has light and wind. You can see it in the bottom right. So technically it would not be advantageous to use dark type. Also, um, just in general, this fight isn't good for dark type. I know I don't have enough points, but I wish I did. Okay, uh, his attack is kind of good. Do not recover after Zanzibar. No, 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 no. I never, I never, I never recovered after Zanzibar. Okay, don't, don't bring it up. But dude, I'm I'm being so serious. I will cry playing MGS1 thinking about Otacon. I'll be like four cutscenes away from Otacon and I'll know it. And I'll be like, it's Otacon. Oh my god, Otacon is coming up. He's my favorite. I love him. He's my favorite. It's Otacon and Master Miller all the way. And they barely even coexist. Oh, tragedy, tragedy. She's cried. I would. <laughs> I would cry during the locker scene. He would. Literally, I see. Please show me your true inner strength. I see the ninja, and my little Otacon detector goes off. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. He's gonna say, call me Otacon. It means otaku convention, and I'm just gonna sob. I'm gonna cry. Tears aren't the only thing that's like. <laughs> oh my god! Imagine, imagine. I will use all my strength to defeat you. Snake is so wild to me because even after that whole cutscene, he's like, "This is my best friend. This is my, this is my bestest friend. We're gonna raise a kid together." <laughs> kind of. And that's really special to me. <laughs> that's so special. That even after everything, the hand, oh my god, I the handshake to, to 13 second hug. To they hugged for 13 seconds. It was, it was a firm hug and it was a long time. I'm like, is there something going on between those two? There, there, there was something about them. There was something going on. There's a little, um, flavor to this, uh, cocktail. Everyone needs a bro like that. Exactly! Everybody needs a bro that you can be a little bit gay with. Dude, oh my god, I can't wait. Oh my god, I'm gonna be sending so many pictures. I'm gonna be sending Otacon so many pictures just to see his little sprite react. I want him to giggle at my photographs that I send him. I want him to laugh at my memes. <laughs> I want him to raffle. Or I can send him sexy photographs that he'll save to his computer. <laughs> I love him so much. He's so perfect. He's perfect because he's imperfect. Okay, can I game? Can I game, please? I don't want that vibe. This vibe. <laughs> Just get him on game. <laughs> hey. Hey. It could happen. It could happen. 
Next thing you know, you're gonna see, you're gonna see me on Twitter. Be like, hey, any, any, any MGS modders? Any Metal Gear modders? <laughs> um, do you want to help me mod some MGS games right now? <laughs> Just simple, simple, um, simple swaps. Cause it's gotta happen. It's gotta happen. He's like, oh, I'll just save these for later. <laughs> I... Okay, okay, here's some lore. Here's some lore. Um, because Otacon, when I first watched like anything Metal Gear related or interacted with Metal Gear at all, I was already very familiar with Otacon, like his vibe and the way that he sounds when he speaks because the first Smash Brothers game that I ever played was Brawl. And that was when Snake was new. Snake was new and he was at it. I'm like, wow, this is so crazy. So I would play a Snake, cause Snake is cool. And I don't remember which taunt it is. I think it's his down taunt or something. Anyway, anyway, Snake's down taunt is that he'll call somebody on the codec about whatever character that you're fighting. And it would always, it would, it would be Otacon talking to Snake about things and being cheeky and being quippy. And I listened to every single codec interaction between every single character. Just, just for the heck of it. I didn't even know Metal Gear. I was like, wow, these people are talking. It's kind of funny. <laughs> and the Lali Lulelo reference went completely over my head because I did not know Metal Gear, but you know. So, uh, I I was already a big fan of Otacon because I'm like, he's the silly guy who talks to the guy from that thing. Makes me so happy. Oh, can I crawl? Can I crawl? Get a good sleep schedule. You have responsibilities now. Yeah. I'm gonna do something a little bit crazy. I'm gonna change up my normal tactics this time. I think I'm gonna go mostly for the peace. I'm gonna go mostly for the symbol. Peace. Oh my god. Just like in Peace Walker. Peace. Oh my goodness, imagine starting your day with a Moi Moi June stream. <laughs> How crazy is that? Starting off your day, I don't know, with a bang or with a whimper? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I know if it, uh, I still have a chance. Uh, 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 uh. I'm thinking about him. Dude, never, never let me think about Peace Walker. <laughs> never let me think about Peace Walker. I've already seen this vision. Dude, literally that that will make me cry. If I ever get around to streaming Peace Walker, that Every cutscene, every cutscene, I will be sobbing just because I know ha what happens. I know it. I don't have mental strength. <laughs> I don't have the fortitude. I do have the fortitude, but I don't. I will never give up. Wow, Yugi, so true. I will never give up. I'm gonna do that. And then I'll go over here. And protect this area. Did I see somebody move? Yeah, over here. They're over here. And then we've got two over here. We've got these guys. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. 
I could have blocked that attack, but my Millennium Necklace told me to let it through. Girl, shut <laughs> Girl, shut up. Is there any way that I could- no, I can't. Okay. It has to be. It has to be this way. Uh, but it's okay. I can't cry when boys who cry get aren't there to perform for a 16th birthday. Hey! Hey! The thing is- That attack- I can suspend my disbelief. I can suspend my disbelief if it's the boss. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, I- I feel like if I would play Peace Walker, I feel like I would cry just seeing Hatsune Miku in the credits. <laughs> just knowing that god, Hatsune Miku, is there, overseeing the project with her beautiful, angelic vocals. No, no, no. Uh... uh why would you do this? Evil fiend. Look at me go. It's literally the thunder pieces. I just had to come into my own. Understand that my type is important and powerful in its own way. Despite every monster associated with thunder type being lame and stupid. <laughs> no, oh my god, me too. Dude, I- oh. Literally, I think the only thing that sucks about the Venom Snake Big Boss timeline of Metal Gear games is fucking Huey. <laughs> it's my turn. Like, man, fuck that guy. <laughs> fuck Huey. Love his son, though. Would probably lay down my life for his son, though. But man, fuck that guy. <laughs> I have already foreseen that attack. Like the Virgin Huey versus the Chad Otacon. The antithesis of how <laughs> real, real. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, I don't have the Thunder Dragon yet. I don't have it yet. I'm not powerful or cool enough to have the Thunder Dragon. <laughs> All I have is the Lalilulelo and Thunder Kid. <laughs> this is all I got. This is all I got. This is all I got. Can I really not hit any of you? Mean, mean, evil, horrible. <laughs> mean, horrible, evil, mean. Why? Okay, what can the Lalilulelo do? Nothing either! Yay! Oh, I still have the blue eyes white dragon. I totally forgot about it. <laughs> I forgot I had the blue eyes white dragon. Shows how much I use it, huh? <laughs> Shows how much of the board I can pay attention to at a single given moment. <laughs> Perfect. Come into my view. Let me see your monsters clearer. We really entered the pool with his daughter and removed the ladder. <laughs> Bro. Huey, Huey had that, um... He, he, he was a little, um... You know what was the problem with Huey? Huey had a lot of problems, but I feel like his biggest problem was his inability to take responsibility for the things that he's done. You know what I mean? My monster's not beaten yet. You meet Otacon, and like the first thing that he does is like, 
I wanted, I wanted to do science because I think science and anime is used to help the world, and that's so cool. And then he was like, wait, never mind. Because what does science really benefit from? From harming other people, and that's wrong. And I feel like this should stop. He was out here like, it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. I promise. I promise other people were like, you know, like pulling the strings and it wasn't me. <laughs> Ukulele apology is a human movie. Yes! That is so funny because it's so true. What is special attack? What? Helps all friendly monsters within an effect range recover 40 pp. Uh, it, nobody's within the range though. Okay, honestly, this is working so much better. What? Can the future be changing? I locked in despite my disadvantage. And now look where we're at. I will, however, fall back. These are still outside of my range, and that makes me angry! But I mean, it'll probably work out, maybe... Uh, eventually... It probably won't work out. <laughs> but I have the blue eyes! I don't have the blue eyes, I already used it. Wow. Wow. I feel like I should start all of my turns with the blue eyes just so I don't forget about it, but I feel my like I forget about not forgetting about crumbling. it. My future is crumbling. Oh, wow. She's so real. She's just like me. Hey. Stop. Stop it right there. This is illegal, you know. I wasn't concentrating. And I, I paid for that. that. Did we really pay for anything? No. Because at the end of the day, this is all a part of my plan. He has the same pattern as me. That will work out well if I am able to bring the Lalilule Lo in. It'll work. It'll work. It'll work. It'll work. It'll work. It'll work. I will find a way to turn the table. The tables will be turned. The the turntables will be table table turn with the table table table. Uh, let's do that. Question mark. That attack does not surprise me. That attack does not surprise me. Cool. Will um. Even I can't go all the way over there <laughs> from here. What? Hold on, wait. What about this way? No, I can't attack all the way over there either. Ah! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay! It's okay! Um, I will keep saying that until it is not okay, but it's okay! It's okay! Okay, uh, last time it took quite a bit of damage from Genin, which is crazy considering that it's the blue eyes white dragon. But, um, you know, at least it was able to do a little bit. <laughs> Again, the blue eyes white dragon's destruction will be negligible. Yeah, but it's level one, because every time I use it, it dies. It's not the tank that everybody says it is, so... I'm just not gonna use it until I eventually do a New Game Plus, which will probably be off-stream. <laughs> and might not even happen. 
because the only reason why I feel like I would play this game further is to play as Bandit Keith and hear all of his dialogue and see all of his sprites. Because I'm very normal. I'm not defeated yet! I'm not defeated yet. Still not defeated. Light work. No reaction. My monster. Except seemed like seemed like Yugi had a reaction to that. And obviously it will destroy the blue eyes, but again negligible because it's the blue eyes. It's really only there to hinder the progress of the Genin, which is it not best to withdraw, Yugi? Is it not best to withdraw? Is it not best for you to withdraw? You're literally moving your pieces out of my attack range just because you're scared of me. Ishizu, are you thinking? I want it to at least move into my range, you know what I mean? Move into my range and attack me like a man. Or else I'm gonna have to move to her piece anyway. With my shovel crusher. Is that everybody? Did I get everything? I'm doing a sweep. I think I did though. Yeah, this time I didn't move anybody up there, which is pretty a pretty good move on my part it has been written that i would be leading this duel girl i would much prefer you lead a dance but not to this music this music isn't very dancey then again i've never been to an actual dance so i don't know what that's like the only dance that I know, like the only dance that I ever participated in, had Fire Burning by Sean Kingston playing. And that's really it. <laughs> She's gonna sink my yacht. No, she won't! I won't allow her to. But if she does, I'm gonna end the stream anyway. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. God gives his latest nights to his sleepiest soldiers. But I wanted to stream anyway. Because it's important to stream. Somebody call 911! Shoddy's fire burning on the dance floor! Whoa! <laughs> fire burning, fire burning! Da, 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 <laughs> Dude, if I do a karaoke stream, expect Fire Burning by Sean Kin Kingston. Expect it. Be prepared. Please, please. Yeah, I will. <laughs> of course. Who else would I be if I didn't just use my normal playlist as a basis for a karaoke stream? <laughs> because yes, fire burning is in my playlist. A replay is also in my normal playlist. It's in my regular rotation. Over here, little Genin, come over here. <laughs> I want to attack you, please. Weak. That's it's so weak. She's feeling a bit brave now. Actually, hold on. 
Okay, that's in its range, so I will move here. <laughs> I'm being tactical now. I'm thinking about it. This is like this is like that one time that I was like chasing around Bandit Keeps Peace, just begging, hoping to kill it. <laughs> Any 2000s a song that has shoddy in it. <laughs> yes! It, I totally forgot that they were used in flip notes. Oh my god, but they were. Shoutouts to Flip Note Studio. <laughs> a legend. Okay, hopefully this will work. We're cooked. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> We're cooked. We've been cooked. We're done. This is the path. But hey! That's just a stream! A moment when we June stream! Thanks for watching! <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna make a TikTok killing this a new flip note app, please! I swear, oh my god. When they tried to remake flip notes on like 3DS or something, and they made it like interactive social media essentially, oh my goodness. Too bad it flopped because it could have slayed. Should have given it time. Should have given it time for us Gen Zs who grew up with flip notes to mature. But anyway, I'm done streaming. I'm sleepy. <laughs> if that was not evident enough, um, I'm gonna honk shoo me me honk shoo me. Hold on, but Alex, Alex, quick question, quick demographics question. What age range are you? Because if you're younger Gen Z, you might not have grown up with flip notes. Oh my god, we're like the same age. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you need to flip notes? I mean, to be fair, to be fair and fully honest, I only knew about flip notes because my friend because <laughs> my friend was like oh my gosh you have a dsi and you've never used flip notes i'm like yeah <laughs> oh my god i go ah! i got the iphone <laughs> oh my god i'm i'm being transported to 2012 <laughs> 2012. A dark time. I don't know if 2012 was dark or a good time, actually. I forget the majority of my life, come to think of it, but uh, the residual vibes is that I miss the culture of 2012. 2012 internet. Beautiful. But also horrible, but beautiful in its own right. Bro, went to an online school. Okay. The thing is, I went to a school that was deemed dangerous or deemed hood because we, we were poor. <laughs> I'm, I'm poor, in case you didn't know. Why do you think I swear so much? It's a linguistically studied attribute of people in different demographics that if you are poor, you swear a lot more to give the casual effect. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was lucky, because I... Oh my god. In my childhood, I would talk to a lot of people, and then suddenly I didn't talk to anybody. <laughs> so I was, I was lucky to have had that spurt when, like, culturally the internet started. You know what I mean for me? Like 12 years old, on the town, and by the town I mean on Tumblr. I should not have been on Tumblr at 12 years old. No, 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 not even. <laughs> wow. Wow. I have some things to actually think about now about how my childhood affected me now. Anyway, perfect way to end the stream as I'm about to go honk shoo me me me. <laughs> She's the true auto nymph of the internet. Oh my god! That's so true. Wait! Oh my god. 
Are you sure? I'm just, I'm not in Akiburst. <laughs> oh my god, and I'm gonna go to Japan soon. I will be in Akiba. Oh my god. But yes, I'm gonna quote something from the Luigi's Mansion streams that you can find on Kuliet Mickey's channel and that you can find clipped on Carrot Clips' channel in two parts. Very funny, very funny, haha. -ha. Check out those clips from Carrot Clips. But let's all sleep together, platonically, and also um, spiritually, not literally. Let's all sleep together, yeah! <laughs> um, what is it that I normally say now? Um, uh, this has been a, a, but you just woke up a, a, spiritually take a nap <laughs> spiritually take a nap Alex okay <laughs> but um, here's a magic spell to make your day or week or night or whatever you're watching this or whatever time zone or world or line you live in uh, make your day great Moe Moe Chan! Bye! <laughs>